Welcome back to the Weeb's Closet. I am Jonathan. I'm Kakuhin. And we are back with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Stardust Crusaders episode 10, I believe it's called. Who doesn't do that whenever they drink a cherry limeade at Sonic and you get the cherry at the bottom, you know? I know, right? Uh, we're, we're watching the, hangman, the Emperor and the Hangman, part one, I believe. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah, the Emperor and the Hangman. Ooh, yep. that, that's almost immediate. That's crazy. Yes, this... This is some good shit. I will say. Uh, I'm excited to watch these. Last episode, we had Kakyoin licking the cherry. Yeah, that, that <clears throat> best boy right there. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of girls can. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Probably get a huge fandom after that episode. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I, like I said on the last episode, I. I See, I, I honestly think that that stand was actually pretty badass. It's pretty cool. Had a lot of uses. Granted, the, and the guy, again, the arrogance of like, oh, I'm unbeatable. Every, every single person that has that mentality will immediately get brought down. Because if you don't fear something, then you don't feel like getting better. Mm-hmm. You know, like you don't like he who feels like he is uh, <clears throat> like there's a word. There's a whole phrase. But basically, you a bitch if you don't try to work yourself over. Yeah. Hey, also, yeah. you're only in Singapore. You're not even one of the final boss stands. So, That's true. get the fuck out. You're episode nine, guy. Uh, I'm excited. The Hangman. I'm. I'm curious what his stand power is, because like, I mean, he's already strong enough. We just, you know, two left hands or two right hands. So, what the fuck is his power? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. This is this is gonna be good. This is. Uh, we're gonna get introduced to a few characters that I think are gonna be fun to watch. And uh, I don't actually know because I've only read this, and I but I really enjoyed this kind of arc right here. So, so we will see. I'm excited. Alrighty, <clears throat> well, guys, check our Twitch, check our Twitter, and obviously, do, again, check our Twitch because of the fact that Mikey's streaming every so often, especially weekends, and I'll be streaming once Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet comes out, which should be soon. So, yes. I don't know if you're going to be streaming anything, um, but hopefully. I literally got a message today, and it was like, bro, when are we going to revive your streaming career? It's it from Mary. So shout out to Mary. Yeah, that's going to happen someday. It's just like, I uh, I don't know. Whenever I stream, I'm like, I just think I should be editing videos right now. Uh, I completely get that. <laughs> yeah. But hopefully that we get we get over that little hurdle. Mm-hmm. And for the, all the rest, guys, if you want to check our extra stuff, just go to Patreon. From the moment you join our Patreon, you get access to the uncuts of all the different shows that we've done, as well as access to our Discord, where you get to chat with us or amongst yourselves about any games, shows, or movies. If you choose to jump into our Weep Titan tier, you'll have access to our time exclusive shows. These shows will either be ahead or unavailable to watch in our YouTube. Attack on Time used to be there, Jujutsu Kaisen just finished, Mob Cycle is starting, and Invincible has been over there for over a year. And for the Full Metal Weeps, not only do you get shown off here, but you get one week early access to the shows currently on the screen, as well as staying ahead into our bi-weekly podcast, and you also get to vote and watch our monthly Anka movie. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and let's start the video. Alrighty, let's start this episode. Three, two, one, go. So see you, you. Calcutta. Why did I read Canada? Like, that makes no fucking sense. <laughs> mm. I, need to, I need to try more curry. I've only had, like, one t- type. And I don't even remember. Dude, I, <clears throat> I kind of want to go to India so bad. Especially after watching RRR. <laughs> which will be going back up in the uncut poll for next month. God damn it. Uh, you're like, it has to make it. I need Neko to watch it. <laughs> I don't know if I told you I got I got Blake to watch it. Did he, did he like it? Oh, he loved it. He absolutely loved it. Holy shit! This is scary. I won't be able to make it in India. From what I've heard, though, like I had a friend named AJ mm-hmm. that grew up in India for the first few years of his life, and he said this is exactly what it's like. If like if you're a foreigner, like especially light skin, it's just like they're they want they want to service you because they want they Money. want yeah. Just such interesting culture there. It's so crazy. Like, I, re- I really want to watch that movie with you. I'm just saying that if I ever go to India, I'll make sure that whatever I'm coming out of, whatever it is that I'm coming out of, I'll be drinking a Fanta. 
I actually just had chai not too long ago. I don't think I had had it. Unless you have given it to me, but I don't remember. <clears throat> I'll get it once I get used to it. I mean, you're gonna be here for like two days, so don't worry about it. Where's it, John? Yeah, the fact that he knew what John meant. I'm gonna do something <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Joseph's. <laughs> I don't know why he's surprised, you know, like, I feel like he should have known him by now. Yeah. <laughs> to, like, lock the door to Bujimo. <laughs> no, because the door opens outwards, so... No, never mind, he's open inwards. Yeah, that's it. Camera angle totally threw me off. <laughs> ました。ペリキの中に豚が顔出しているぞ。ちょいとしたの豚小屋を設計ミスで浅く作りすぎまして。これを使うんですよ。どれ。ガーデン。ジーズス。うちの店長なんかは資料豚に舐めてもらえる
but that can be a detriment to him as well. Yeah. <laughs> All the people. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. This is the movie I see? The who? A movie? Mm. Oh. <laughs> no, it's, it's not too uh, extravagant. It cannot be a movie. You thought it was like a movie <clears throat> inside of... Yeah, they're probably somebody that's just watching like a TV or something. This doesn't feel like the actual show, so I must still th go by what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, dig the music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Indian Jojo. Indiana Jojo? Jo <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, okay, makes sense, the Emperor. <clears throat> He's already dead. Ooh. Oh my god. That's fucking crazy. I love it. It's so fucking weird, dude. I wonder if... Emperor is like he can just summon anything that he wants to use at the moment. Uh, the reason why I'm saying is because if you have watched Bun uh, Bungo Stray Dogs, mm. there's a character that writes whatever he needs on a piece of paper and then that paper turns into whatever it is. Have you watched it? Um, I've heard of Bungo Stray Dogs, but no, I haven't seen it. Is that the way that you were like, it's like, oh shit, we haven't talked about Bungo Stray Dogs? So, like, but yeah, it's a pretty decent uh, detective anime. That's a fucking cool stand. I love both of them, dude. Abdul, you fucked up. You made him angry. <laughs> it's like, not my fault. <laughs> nah, he was gonna go anyway. Yeah. I don't speak French, buddy. You gotta think about it this way. This, this like, JoJo's team right now are speaking, like, five different languages. Jap Japanese. Uh, Polnareff will already know French. They had to know French whenever they went to the French embassy, uh -huh. you know. I think Abdul is Egyptian, right? Yeah. And then Joseph speaks English, but uh, and Japanese, I guess. But goddamn, but it's both of them right there. And then yeah, he's fucked. I love that they actually brought the song. I like that there's a lot of puddles because there's a lot of re reflections. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, that was so quick. Jesus. I'm excited for the next episode. <clears throat> I, I really want to watch it, damn it. He did. He underestimated Abdul too. My card is water against your fire, buddy. Mm -hmm. We just need to find the grass. <laughs> They're both just making fun of each other. Yeah. I, I I swear something tells me these guys would have made badass friends. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's that's what's so funny. <laughs> oh shit! Ah, that's crazy. You better start fucking pulling the Neo right now. That's wanted on steroids right there. He didn't just curve the bullet. He fucking... That's crazy. Damn. This man is faster than a bullet. <laughs> I 
Oh wow. <laughs> Can you burn it? Fucking melt it. What? I, I haven't seen uh, Joseph fight because he hasn't been able to do so because uh -huh. of his stand. I literally want him to at least sucker punch somebody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I understand. I don't want to say keep waiting, but unfortunately, you're, you know. Oh, shit. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, God. No fucking way they got him. Holy shit. I really wasn't expecting this at all. I expected... What the fuck? I didn't think they were going to cover it in this episode. And he just fucking got headshot. So there's no returning from that shit. And to think that he was supposed to be like the... Counterforce. Yeah. yeah. Bro, he got shot in the head. Like, there's just, like, not coming back from that. And it was his fault. Like, yeah. that's so fucked. He was the one that was, like, egging him on. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I'm assuming that that's just the stand leaving his body. <sighs> People honestly said that Caesar's death was the saddest, and this one fucking hurts, dude. I'm surprised that they covered that at all. I was expecting it to show in the next episode. Yeah. That is crazy. And that's what I mean is that some some of these arcs, dude, have that intensity, like this intensity the whole time. And then some, like, the last one's fun, but, like, they don't compare. Like, this one was... I'll be I'm like surprised because it's the beginning of uh, part three, right? And like we already lost someone that was core, you know, part of the core group. Yeah, and this happens at like the beginning of book three, and I'm just waiting. And if you're gonna be waiting and waiting for Abdal to come back, they're gonna bring him back somehow, and he's just not. He doesn't come back. And yeah, like, like I, I honestly feel that headshot is a quite final. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, that was crazy. If it was just the back backstab, it's like, oh, I'm dead. It's like okay, it was just a backstab. Oh, no. I, 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 I'm gonna call Nick Fury on this. <laughs> I gotta oh. say, I really love how they handled it here. Um, it was like way more emotional here than it was in the manga. Yeah, because it was so like. I was talking to Lee about it, and I was telling her like when I was reading it, it was just so sudden. Like you're really. Like, I expect characters to die by the end because, like, that's, like, the final battle and, like, it's JoJo, so, like, some people are going to make it to part four. But, like, the fucking, like, beginning stages of the journey, mm -hmm. so crazy. I, I have to say, I'm, I'm, I'm quite surprised. Like, I was I was so in shock that, like, I, w I didn't even, like, make a face or anything. Like, you know, I don't know. It threw me off because... I just don't know. I especially because we saw the the pieces moving on the outside of the board, right? So I was expecting them to do the the I save you. No, I save you. No, I save you. You know what I'm saying? Kind of uh, kind of like the stain fight in my hero. Yeah. Uh, and it didn't happen. So I'm like, wait, like that's it? <laughs> like that's how he goes? Mm -hmm. Holy shit! That was fucking crazy, man. That sucks. Cause like to be honest, he was the only one we AOE attacks. Yeah. So that you kind of sort of have uh, emerald splash, yeah, but, but it's not nearly as good as the crossfire hurricane. Yeah, that shit was that that's intense. Holy shit! And I mean, I like the fact that he died for Polnareff because it does prove a point. You know, it, it proves multiple points, right? Uh, one, the idea that like uh, you know, obviously Polnareff keeps putting himself in these situations mm -hmm. that he needs to fucking stop. 
And then the other point of like, you know, yeah, I may be uh, as scared shitless, but that still doesn't mean that if I need to help somebody, I won't help them, you know? Yeah. What I like about it is that it's it's continues to develop Polnareff and it's, it's just like, this dude is the, like, 10 episodes in, he had a plot, we're already like exploring like the, the mm. his arch nemesis. Mm -hmm. The, he basically got one of his teammates killed, which... He's here to avenge his sister, and instead of avenging her, he just ends up getting, getting somebody else. Yeah, killed. and so it's like, what more are they gonna do with him? Uh, but I, I did like that a, uh, that a lot because, like, what he said is it makes sense. You know, I'm tired of people dying on me. You know, yeah, it's like that's what I like to do with myself. You know, because ultimately, if I die, well, nobody has to shed a tear because it's just myself. I, I love that. Like, I really love what they do with him throughout the entire arc man like, like it's, it's so good it's fucking crazy i, uh, I have to say uh i'm surprised i didn't expect to like him whenever he first showed up hell i didn't even expect him to join the team whenever mm -hmm. he first showed up uh so but now seeing how complex his whole thing is and whatnot i like it a lot it's just mm -hmm. man it bothers me that then we didn't get much on abdo right so and poor poor joseph now it's the only old guy in the team <laughs> Abdul's 28. Really? Yeah, in the manga it says he's 28. Fuck, he did not look 28. <laughs> Honest, I expected him to be on the late 30s to 40s. No, yeah, I did too. Especially when you hear that voice, you know? Yeah. Um, That's but fucking no, crazy. Polnareff, coming out of part three, Polnareff was my favorite character. Just because they never, like even after this arc with the hangman, they never stopped develop, developing the character because he's always living with that guilt yeah. of what happened. And now like Dio's at the center of it so it's like I gotta kill Dio like I, I, I have to kill him yeah you know yeah cause now, now uh, not only did I lose my sister because of the c centerfold I think it was his name yeah centerfold yeah uh, granted but centerfold is also working for Dio so mm -hmm. ultimately that's the thing and Dio asking to kill us is what killed Abdul so now I have two reasons why to go after Dio uh, no, I, I, I have to say I'm quite, quite surprised. I'm liking these characters. Uh, yeah, like, and it's crazy because it's for Caesar, it took us quite a while to kind of not like him, but like to get invested. In, and, I, and I was mm -hmm. already kind of invested on in Abdul before like losing him. And if they add a new character to the team, that'll be fun. Granted, by now, I feel like it's a little bit too, not a little bit too late, but we won't necessarily get, get attached to them as much as the main crew. So, well, we will see. Alrighty, guys, I enjoyed it. I want to watch the next episode, so we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, Jojo. Hope you guys enjoyed another Weeps Closet reaction. A special thanks to our Patreons. We appreciate your extra support to keep this channel going. Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. See you in the next one.